remember to breathe cuz it'll take your breath away when the engines guys barrel designs and this is tutorial friday episode 2 and yeah, let's get started today i was thinking about doing some camera motion type uh effects with you guys so let's do that uh let's uh drag in our clip to after effects fucking taking forever just to do that all right now you just make a composition with it all right let me zoom out of here let's put this on third this is a pc clip that's why you see all that stuff there let me just try to remove that shit now this is really laggy uh... Alright, let's start from right here. Let's cut the audio. Alright. I need a better computer. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna twixter it when he zooms in. And we're gonna put some like wiggle to the to the screen. You've probably seen this before, and chill editors really do this a lot. Right, so just choose wherever you want it. It's a uh, revision plugins, Twixter Pro. Just put the frame rate of your uh, clip. Make a keyframe by clicking on that stopwatch right there. Go one frame forward by clicking on this next frame key, whatever. And make it like two. Alright, uh, go like a second forward now. And hit U to, so you can see your keyframes. And make click this little diamond right here to make a keyframe where you're at right now. And go frame forward again. And make this 100. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna split the clip right here where your twixer starts by holding Control Shift and then pressing D. Fuck. All right, I guess. Well, it'll work for you, but I think since I'm recording, it doesn't really split the clip. So either or either you could go just uh, make sure your layers clicked and then go to Edit, Split Layer, and split the layer, and then go to the end. And then split it again. Where are you? Split layer. Now you click on the middle layer, which is the one that you split, where your twix is at, and then hit P for your position. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch. Then it'll bring out this little expression here, and you type in wiggle uh, parenthesis, and then you put I don't know. I usually put like two comma six or four if you want really soft. Uh, wiggle, it'll just put like uh, one or three, one three or something like that. But two four is pretty good, and the screen should wiggle a little. Yeah. Um, hold up. Let me just uh, do something real fast. All right, I'm back, and uh, yeah, all right. So I was gonna show like some black lines when you do this. So just stretch up, stretch out the screen a little bit depends how much wiggle you put and you could also do the same thing for rotation but for rotation put where the numbers are at put parenthesis 1 comma 3 and it should be a nice chill wiggle I'm gonna put some uh, rotation too see how long this is 4 minutes I do the same thing so click R for rotation then hold alt and click on the stopwatch and then you're right wiggle one comma let's see two two it should be pretty good and let's see yeah that's that's pretty good all right and yeah this is a triple by the way S and D trip on PC. Really beast. 
So yeah, um, now you can just preview it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another effect to it when he hits the triple. And this is a, a really common effect that people use when they're doing like eyeballs and stuff for kill cams. So first you want to find where your shot is at. This is uh, some distort and uh, the other effect I taught you guys uh, the last episode uh, together. A good way to, like, to be a creative editor is to mix effects together and make new ones and stuff. That's pretty cool to do. And it looks, it looks, uh, looks good. And this the shot should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, guys. And if you really like these uh, these tutorials, just uh, comment and comment below, and just uh, let me know what kind of tutorials you guys would want to see, or what do you want to learn, or whatever. So I'm gonna just do it right here. I'm not gonna waste that much time. Uh, so now you're gonna click on your third third layer. You're gonna go to Effect, Distort, CC Lens, and then make your size. Uh, let's make it 200. If not three, 200. Fuck, not 20. 200. Make a stop. Make a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch. Fuck, wrong one. The stopwatch right here. Then go back a frame. Make it 500. And just go a second forward. Hit U. And make the size 500 again. Come on, you slow shit. All right. So when you click U and then you spring up your keyframes, switching the size here is switching is the same thing as switching the size here. You guys didn't know that. And now you just add a new adjustment layer and go to Effect. I know, fuck that. All right, go 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 over here to your uh, effects and write Burst and take your Light Burst 2.5. And then go to where your just go to where your uh, your CC lens comes in, and make a stopwatch. Go a frame backwards, and make it zero. Make your ray length zero, and then go back to where your to where your CC lens, you know, goes back to normal. Make that zero. Alright guys, that's basically all I have to show you today. And just add some color correction or whatever if you want. So, thanks for watching guys. Peace.